So what's going on my Call of Duty refugees? Hopefully you guys are doing good, but essentially a lot of people are not doing good because you see for a minute Call of Duty refugees have been like doing helicopters, they have been shaking, they have been doing backflips while being on a wheelchair, but that was like a week ago, right? A week ago, but today apparently we got the homie Blame Truth, right? Coming out says that Black Ops 6 is in serious trouble, then you got the homie Ghost Away says that Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome. Here's why. Yeah. And, and you see a lot of people are looking like this right now. A lot of people are like, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on, man? Like, I don't know what's going on. What's going on, man? And today, but I should say today, however, the homie Nero Cinema comes out. The light, the truth, the beacon of hope, everybody. He's going to be telling us the truth. He's going to tell us what's going on in the community. Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike the video if you want the EOMM and skill-based skill, skill -based match picking combo, everybody. Roll it. And Check that's this. just the fact that it's a Treyarch game, right? Black Ops 6, we're due for a Treyarch game this year. People are pretty excited about it, myself yeah. included. Because for whatever reason, Treyarch just... People was pretty excited. Uh-oh. The things that they do with their games seem to resonate with me better than what Infinity War does, better than what Sledgehammer Games does. You know, for me, Treyarch has always been that developer that they seem to make more good decisions yeah, than some of the yeah. other developers out there. Okay, bro, stop buttering our toast. C cut to the chest, brother. Cut to the chest. Tell us why Black Ops 6 is not doing well and why Treyarch is in trouble, right? Because, yeah, but, but, but like, he, he's trying to butter our toast. He's trying to, like, just go in slowly but surely. I see you, brother. I see you, man. Well, recently it's starting to come out that maybe Black uh -oh. Ops 6 is in trouble because that same Treyarch go. that made all those games that we all know and love, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, hell, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, even Cold War, it's not going to be the same Treyarch this year and apparently things are not going exceptionally well over at the studio in regards to Black Ops 6. It's been said that they're not necessarily in development hell, but rather they're experiencing a bit of an identity crisis. And I think that's definitely evident yeah, in the fact okay. that they've okay. switched up how COD is made. And that's the most annoying yeah. part of it right so they went to that whole 3,000 devs thing for every single cod title which basically meant that it was all hands on deck for every single they, they just need to up it to 4,000 devs because uh what we're hearing is that by the time black Ops 6 comes out it's gonna be like what four years in development so yeah four years 4,000 devs guys yeah let's let's go for let's go for four likes on the video for that game and it became a situation very quickly of too many cooks in the kitchen you know you have vanguard coming out but Treyarch has to handle the zombies well Treyarch's yeah. also working on their own stuff so it's one of those things where if you have to do both things, both products end up... Uh, my bad. I accidentally, like, uh, hit that wrong sound effect, so I had to roll with it. My bad. Suffering. Yes. Vanguard Zombies was freaking terrible. I mean, when they eventually added round bases... Vanguard Zombies was not terrible. It just belonged in the garbage. It just belonged in the garbage. So. Chino Numa, it was passable, but overall, Vanguard Zombies was pretty freaking bad. Meanwhile, Treyarch is still trying to work on their own game. And oh, by the way, they have to handle ranked play in yeah, all the Modern true. Warfare games. Whether it's Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, Treyarch is handling ranked play as well. They're handling Sledgehammer Games Zombies. They're trying to make their mm -hmm. own game. Like, mm -hmm. all those things are going to suffer when you try to stretch one studio too thin. Facts, it made facts. a lot more sense back in the day where Treyarch did Treyarch things, Infinity War did Infinity War things, and Sledgehammer did Sledgehammer things. Of course, yeah. every now and then, there was some help coming from... It, to be honest though, Treyarch has always been doing Treyarch things, right? In Sledgehammer games as well, but Infinity War kind of low-key drifted, and I wish I could say psych right now, but eh, 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 eh. From <laughs> Right? Like, they really did drift, and they started doing, like, different kind of stuff. That's our real bundle, everybody! That's our real bundle they did! In Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2002, uh, 2022, my bad. Uh, Modern Warfare 2022, right? Like, yes, yeah, different studios. Wasn't. We had what we would call support studios, like Raven Software. We had Neversoft eventually coming into the fold, and a number of other studios out there. But with how they're making COD now, it just seems like they're stretching all these studios so thin that no game really has that unique identity that the other games ended up having. I definitely think mm -hmm. it's a big mm -hmm. problem with COD, and apparently Black Ops 6 is suffering when it comes to that. Okay. I saw a video today. It was recommended to me. I saw it in my sub box, uh -oh. and people are talking about it on my Twitch stream as well from Blaine Truth. And there, so I there we go, there we go. Oh <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Oh, man. Yeah, we got the homie Blaine Truth. Let me actually go ahead and uh, show you guys this, okay? So, yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, no, this one, this one, my bad, guys, my bad. So yeah, I got the homie Blame Truth hair, hair, Joe Biden, right? And then you got the homie Eight Thoughts, uh, Justin Trudeau guy, right? Justin Trudeau guy. Both of these guys have been beefing, 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 and uh, for for a minute, right? Like they have been beefing, 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 uh, and I don't know what happened. Blame Truth is keeping it like 
as is uh, he has been saying that Call of Duty is garbage for like years and years, right? But Ghost of it, Justin Trudeau guy, essentially, right? Bruh. All of a sudden, my guy did a 180. It's like he did a he did a 180, 180 like that. And uh, now he says that Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome. Here's why. Craziest news in online multiplayer gaming. <laughs> but listen, I have watched his videos and his points uh, to certain degree or to a lot of degree is kind of valid though. The community is either saying that Blame Truth is glazing X Defined or he's a Call of Duty hater or he's speaking the facts. Like there is no middle ground anymore right now. X Defined is not the best game ever, okay? I I'm sorry, it's not. All right, but uh, that's what like it thoughts is saying and I agree with that like X to is not the best game ever Okay, but it's not the worst game either though. It's kind of like It's mid it's mid. That's what it is. Okay, it's mid But what's surprising and shocking to me here is that the homie blame trucks is loving that game Listen, man I don't care whether he's glazing X Define or not the, the the craziest part to me here is that brother loves it yeah, he's loving a game, and that's my very first time I'm seeing Blame Trust like a game. So I'm happy for the fella, man. I'm happy for the guy, man. I mean, damn. And you see, I'm happy for Eight Thoughts too that he found uh, his love. Uh, you know, Call of Duty. He started liking Call of Duty as well, man. So I I'm happy for both of these fellas, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? I'm happy for both of these lads out there. Like the video if you're happy for them too, man. Like you, I, I see you guys always saying that yo, Blame Truth made that video. Yo, Skizzle, you gotta make a video on that. Oh my God, like it thoughts making that video, bro. Oh my God, you gotta make a nah, bro. Like I'm happy for both of these lads enjoying the games that they like, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you like uh, them enjoying the games too, bro. Watch the video talking about these DMs that were coming from what he says is a very reputable source. And if BT believes it's a reputable source, I'm just going to take it at face value. I have no idea who this person is. I didn't get any DMs or anything like that. But in those DMs, which he shows in his video, it's revealed that apparently Black Ops 6 is going to be stealing maps from Sledgehammer Games. Like the reason why Sledgehammer Games is leaning so much into the Vortex maps with Modern Warfare 3. And we're going to get those cell shaded map variants and things like that here in Season 5 what? and subsequently eventually in Season 6. Six. Well, the reason why they're doing that is because Treyarch is stealing some of the maps that Sledgehammer Games had planned to release for Modern Warfare 3. That's a tough sell for me. I think it's a bit difficult to understand exactly how that works. I mean, there are lots of map variants, uh. which does add variety to the game. And maybe it just was always the intention that those maps were never going to see the light of day anyway, okay. because why release tons of original maps in season five and season six, right during Black Ops six beta period? You know what I mean? Mm. Like I can see that being the case, but I can also apparently see the case where Treyarch is taking those maps because they're behind on what they're trying to do with Black Ops six post launch because okay. they've been helping out with all these other studios this entire time again focusing on ranked play in modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 2 having to do zombies for sledgehammer games like maybe treyarch's really behind and i definitely think it's possible that what they said in that dm is true that treyarch is actually taking a couple of the maps maybe they're just taking the geometry or whatever then they're going to change up the art to make it fit the theme of black ops 6 well well that's not necessarily a super big deal though i guess the big deal in this part is that if you're somebody that bought the modern warfare 2023 uh, i didn't buy it, so for me it's not a big deal but i understand like uh, if you bought Modern Warfare 2023 and you were hoping for like new maps and now uh, if this rumor is true, if this uh, leak is true, that means that it was supposed to get new maps right, but now it's not gonna and whatever they were working on is gonna go in Black Ops 6 because hey, shocker, shocker, every year we got a, we got a new Call of Duty game, right? Shocker, shocker. Uh, I, I mean, if you were expecting new maps in Modern Warfare 3, <laughs> I mean, come on now, man, new maps? What are what are those, man? What are new maps? I don't even know what new maps are anymore in Call of Duty, man. So. But reportedly, Treyarch is taking maps from Sledgehammer Games so that they can release them post-launch within Bruh. Black Ops 6, which is freaking crazy if you Bruh. ask me. It was also said in those DMs that Doors not only are going to be making a return, but there's going to be like Doors on Nuketown within Black Ops 6. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, hey, 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 time out, time out, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi, tranquilo, tranquilo, what? You think us crazy? No, man, say you swear to God, bro. If these suckers put doors on Nuketown, I wouldn't do anything, but like, but, but, but you see what I'm saying, right? Like, <laughs> yo, imagine, imagine, this is, uh, by the way, Unreal Engine uh, footage with Nuketown, right? Uh, this is concept art, but could you imagine, right? Like, you walk up the stairs, like, tuck, 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 tuck. And all of a sudden, you see a door, and you have to knock on the door like this. Y you know what I'm saying? 
Imagine, man. Like, it, it's Joe over, man. And, and quite literally, it's Joe over. I'm, I'm in Canada, by the way, like, but, 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 but I've been hearing Joe Biden kind of like step down, right? So it's literally Joe over. Six, which, what the hell? Like, why? Why would Treyarch want to do that to one of the most iconic maps in COD history? Since the original Nuketown, which dropped in 2010, which, by the way, was 14 years ago. Nuketown is tried and true. People love it. You know, they've changed up a couple of little tiny things about the map, but overall, it's never really changed. Yeah, they changed a little bit, but now it's time to add a little bit more, guys. It's, uh, it's time to add. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> guess what they're looking to add? They're looking to add doors, man. I can't, man. These suckers need their ass beat up in GTA 6. In GTA 6. And now they're talking about adding doors to it? Like, just picture that for a second. You'd have three doors on the downstairs at the minimum of both buildings, and then maybe a couple more doors upstairs going to the back porches and everything. Like, who would that be for? Why would they possibly end up doing that? Aside from the fact that they're trying to make the game more like the Modern Warfare titles that Infinity Ward is known for and subsequently Sledgehammer Games. I don't understand what is happening there. If that is true, which right now it's all just a leak, it's coming from DMs and things like that. Take it with a yeah. pinch of salt. I'm just trying to okay. report news as best I can. If that's true, that really makes no sense. And it really does lead to that entire identity crisis, which has been said several years ago by Ralph's Valve. The identity crisis that Treyarch is going through as they're trying to navigate the new way of doing things over at Activision, especially now that's under crazy, Microsoft. Bro. Now, speaking of DMs here, this is something I've held underneath my hat for a number of years now. I'm still not going <laughs> to reveal names or anything like that. Or uh, uh so you were ahead okay okay I mean, metaphor. I get it. I get it. Come on, guys. I get it. I get it. But I'm like, not even show the messages or anything. But years and years ago, I received a DM from a very prominent member of Treyarch. Somebody you might recognize if you saw their picture. This person reached out to me years ago. It was actually around Thanksgiving. I remember specifically I was at my mom's house. We were watching football or whatever. And these DMs start coming in. And in these DMs, it was from a Treyarch developer. And they said that they had been linked to my Blackout is Better Than Warzone video. Or one of the videos that I've made, which there's been a ton, where I talked about how I personally believe Blackout was better than Warzone. Yeah. And in those DMs, that person revealed to me a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that goes on at Treyarch under the old regime at Activision. Did you guys know this? For example, Warzone was Treyarch's idea. Treyarch wanted the name Warzone. That's what they chose for Blackout. Activision uh, took it from them and gave it to Infinity Ward, and then Treyarch had to take the Blackout name. That is what... Oh, yeah, this, this is something that I heard as well. I, I don't think that's a big deal necessarily in terms of, like, Call of Duty as a franchise. Now, it could have been... It definitely could have been a big deal to, let's just say, the person that came out with me I, I believe wanda her wanted the name warzone could be wrong i could be wrong but but i get it for the the developer for the the team it can be a big deal they wanted to call it warzone uh and activision is like nah bro like we're gonna call it blackout ultimately i feel like that the name blackout goes well with the uh, franchise like black ops so that's just my personal opinion but i totally understand if the the devs uh, the team that were developing it at the time didn't want it to name blackout and they wanted to call it warzone okay on that i understand but like generally speaking uh, that's not necessarily a big deal but however i, I would like to see blackout too uh, i would say blackout 2 over warzone absolutely that person told me who was a Treyarch employee. They also said that a number of things came down from the top that they really could not control, which was incredibly frustrating. Like the entire idea of making Blackout not free to play and tying it to Black Ops yeah. 4, that was not Treyarch's plan, that was Activision's. Damn. And if you're Treyarch, why would you not want it to be free to play? Like Blackout could have been potentially huge, just as big, if yeah. not better than Warzone. If oh, 100%, man. Like with the, uh, with the new graphics and all that, with the new engine, uh, it's still like modified to Treyarch. I don't want like Infinity War like a 500 pounder uh, Camping friendly skill based match with an EOMM galore type of engine right now. No, 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 okay But graphics of let's just say Modern Warfare 19 the engine of uh, let's ju let's just say Black Ops Cold War engine, right? It was uh, uh, Modified Call of Duty is always a modified engine like t <laughs> yeah, tough love man It's always a modified engine, but I would definitely take Bla uh, Black Ops Cold War speed and graphics of Modern Warfare 19 and Blackout as a setting. Oh, absolutely. And free to play on top. It would have been a banger, man. Yeah, this is something that we talked a lot about. A lot of YouTubers, everybody was talking about it when Blackout was first coming out, right? When we first heard about it. People were like, damn. And, and you know what's crazy is that Blackout came out, if I'm not mistaken, 2018, right? So Fortnite was really, really blowing up. Like, it was blowing up. And the idea of Battle Royale was very, very fresh. And I remember, like, 2017, people were like, hey, man, Call of Duty gotta do something like that. And guess what? They did, actually. So 
Uh, and the, I, I blew, Warzone came out in 2020 and it blew up as well. Nowadays, it's like Battle Royale is like whatever. Everybody's like, hey, whatever, right? Like it's uh, it's been done over and over. It has it has been overdone and nobody necessarily gets hit in the G spot the way they they used to. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it, gang, gang, homie, gang. gang. It was actually cross-platform and free to play, but no, it had neither of those advantages. It was basically just this testing ground for Warzone, even though Warzone itself did not take any of the positive things out of Blackout and put it into their game. Like, for example, they explained how the map was designed in Blackout, and I found this to be so interesting. In my video, I was talking about how the original Warzone maps, like, they're so condensed, right? There's skyscrapers everywhere, so many buildings, so many windows, there's not really much that you can do if people are just hiding, man. They're just going to take you out at a distance. That was a big frustration of mine. Well, this person who worked at Treyarch told me that they specifically designed the Blackout map with that in mind. There's only two big condensed areas on the entire Blackout map. We have Construction Site and we have Hydro Dam. And they were very specifically put on opposite ends of the map so that the map itself was a bit more open and that people weren't uh -huh. just going to be hiding in windows or camping on top of rooftops or skyscrapers or anything of that nature. Eventually, Activision got rid of that when it came to Warzone. They wanted to make the game a bit more camper friendly, which, of course, yeah. we've all seen the clip a million times where they say that the Warfare 2019 maps, you know, they were made specifically for bad players to give them safe spaces and places Crazy, to hide. Right? They made the time to kill very quick because they want those bad players to get kills that they probably shouldn't. So oh, they feel better. Man. I like hearing those sound effects. Holy crap. Like that brings PTSD, bro. This game could have been amazing had it been they didn't went too crazy with skill based mentoring and with camper friendly map. Otherwise, this game was amazing, bro. Like Modern Warfare 19, honestly, one of the best game in the franchise. Had it been, they made maps for the rushing playstyle, and once again, no skill based matching or very minimal. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Check out this video on the screen. This is going on right now. We got some new stuff for Dr. Disrespect. Like, this story just, just keeps on going, okay? Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.